really our first opportunity to wheel the new JL. Brought it out here to Colorado. It is sitting on a two and a half inch J-Spec suspension kit. Um, we ran a Mopar kit and even just on the road, the spring started bowing. So we hooked up with the guys down in cold water and got a real lift on this thing. It's been a great lift. It's everything that I come to expect from JKS. We've had no issues whatsoever this week. Um, we've done just over about 200 miles for the trails in the last five days, which has given us an opportunity to really kind of get a feel for this Jeep. Things that I've noticed that are different. The one thing that everyone complains about is all the electronic additions, right? So we have blind spot monitoring, we have proximity sensors, we have a backup camera, and everybody's afraid this stuff's gonna malfunction, not work on the trail. They're partly true. I've had issues with the blind spot monitoring where the mirrors just light up with the triangles. Um, we did find out that if you go through the center um, head unit, you can actually turn off the blind spot monitoring. So then that is a non-issue. Um, proximity sensors have been fine backing up on the trail at beep, beep, beep. Tells you you're about to hit a tree, so that's good. Um, the camera has been kind of weird. Uh, this morning it was not available. It just said currently unavailable for most of the morning and then all of a sudden started working again. Uh, the dash told me it was 800 degrees outside which we have not figured out that. Um, the head unit is very sensitive to dust. If when it's covered in dust and you try to touch it, it just goes berserk and pushes every button. It's kind of a mess. Um, the other issue we had with the head unit, um, all the controls on the dash, so volume control, mute, all those buttons that you'd use for your radio stopped working and I had to shut the whole thing down, restart it to get it all to work normal. Other than that, things that I do like about the JL on the trail, um, the wider stance is great. Um, it's very cushy. It's a very different riding vehicle than a JK. Bumpy trails out here in Colorado and it has made life so much easier. Um, one of the other things people don't really love is the top because it looks goofy when it's up. Actually it's been extremely convenient to just have this quick slide top because we've got caught in a couple of rainstorms up top. I'm able to hop out quickly, flip it up and I've got coverage. So that's kind of a neat feature even though it looks a little goofy. Other than that, runs good, drives good. We have not geared this thing, so we're running stock. 14 gears, 37 inch tires, and uh, we haven't had an issue. Have, power loss hasn't been an issue. Um, low range is good. So yeah, it's been a fun Jeep. Um, the more I've gotten comfortable with it, the more I've been able to push it, run it on some of the harder trails that you would come to expect us to run. At first, I was a little not quite sure where my corners were, how it was gonna react, going up down hills, how it was gonna load, unload. But I've gotten a feel for it now and I'm pretty comfortable running it on a lot of the hard obstacles and it's been a, it's been a fun Jeep to, to wheel this week. Uh, look forward to putting more miles on it, getting to know it a little better and uh, try to figure out its weaknesses so we can try to make it better. But anyways, if, you, if you're on the fence about a JL, I don't know if that's going to help or hurt your decision, but it is what it is. And uh, one other thing, when you put it into four low, oh, there's a kiosk over here. that's, that's what the shifter looks like. <laughs> <laughs> You're going from six to midnight when you go in four low. <laughs> that is a great Jeep.